G'day, Nigel McGill here. You know, we're all really busy people these days and a lot of us haven't got a lot of time. So it's really important when you do practice that you structure your time effectively so that you get the most out of your practice time. So today, a couple of, just a quick top tip on how to structure your practice time. Now, in my opinion, this is what works for me. I find I've divided, always divided my practice into four sections. And uh, I've got to do all four of these sections every time I practice in order to get the most out of my practice session, even if I've only got 10 minutes to practice. Okay? Here are the parts. First of all, you need to have a warm-up. Well, that's the first part, a warm-up. There needs to be some technical practice, like scales and things like that. And then I need to, the bulk of my practice session is working on something new, something challenging, something that I can't do yet. And then the last thing is doing something fun. Okay? Something that I feel good about when I play it, I think it sounds great and makes me, uh, encourages me uh, at the end of the practice session. So those are the four main sections. Now in terms of how much time to give to each, what I do is I divide my amount of time I've got in half. All right? One half of it is only for working on the new material that I'm working on. The other half I divide into three sections. Uh, so let's say, for example, I had 12 minutes to practice. Okay, I would give two minutes to warming up, so that would be like long tones, maybe doing some work with a tuner, um, just to get everything working and, and warmed up in my saxophone and tune. I'll do two minutes on technical studies, so maybe things like scales, maybe scales and thirds, maybe a technical piece that I'm working on. Then I'd spend half of my time, the six minutes, on uh, my new, something new and challenging, something I've not done before. And then the final two minutes I'd spend on something fun, something I've, I know that I can play well, that I feel good about, that encourages me. And that's the way I break down my practice time. Now, a couple of things to remember about this. First of all, it is so important to do your warming up and so important to do your technique practice. Do not skip over those. That's so important. The other thing is, practice is about working on things that you can't already do. So don't, and I'm, I'm going to say that again because it's so important. Practice is about working on things that you can't yet do. Okay? So the purpose of practice is not for your neighbours or for your housemates. It's for you to work on something that you can't already do. So it's not going to sound, always going to sound fantastic because you're developing. If you approach your practice in that way, then you'll get better really, really fast. Save your, your last few minutes at the end of the practice session for doing something that you know you can do. But the bulk of your practice session must be spent on working on something that you find difficult, that pushes you, stretches you, and that way you'll develop really, really fast. Check out the other lessons at saxschool.com. There's a bunch of other information about practicing. And there's also uh, some tips in there that are going to get you playing on track and really supercharged. Good luck with that. Have some fun with your practice. I'll see you on the next one. Hey! <laughs>